Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video, but I was on a business trip. I just got back this weekend, and we're up here in the radio shack here at the homestead, and I started a new project to add to the list of the dozen other projects I haven't finished yet, and that's putting together a little circuit and a kit to cool my off-grid solar power projects charge controller. If you follow the channel, you know I added a weatherproof metal box or electrical box at the base of my solar panels out at the retreat location that has vents in it, but I wanted to add a little something extra to help circulate air through that box during the peak sunlight hours when the sun's hitting that box. All right, here I have both components up on the bench. I think I paid $15 a piece off of Amazon. I'll put links down below. But the idea here is simple. During the day when I'm producing peak power, and of course we have peak high temperatures during the summer I'm going to use my own power to power this 12 volt temperature controlled relay card to turn my fan on and off based on temperatures that I set on this card so during the day when things are getting really hot and I need a little extra cooling in that box where the charge control and the inverter are this fan will turn on this will be mounted in the upper right hand corner of that box drawing air through the box, bringing in ambient air from outside, helping keeping that box cool. I also painted that box white to help reflect some of the heat. The card only comes for Celsius, so that's why these numbers are here. This is 32 degrees Celsius to turn the fan on, 26 degrees Celsius to turn the fan off, and in the center is the actual temperature that this sensor here is picking up. you got four buttons here, up and down, to set the temperature turn on and up and down to set the temperature turn off. I'll go ahead and turn this over so you can see the back side. You have three connection points on the back of this card. Here there's a plug that goes to the temperature sensor here. And on the left hand side this is your plus and minus for your power supply voltage to power the card and your contacts for your relay. The way I have this set up is to use the relay as a switch to break the connection on the negative lead of the cooling fan here. So the positive lead of the cooling fan is going to come down to the positive terminal where the power supply connects. And then I have a jumper here for the negative coming over here to one side of the relay and then the other side of that relay is the negative coming off the fan. So we hit that 32 degrees or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This relay will close, completing the circuit turning on the fan. So let me show you how this works. We'll turn this over. I'll pick the fan up here and what I'm going to do is just hold this temperature sensor in the palm of my hand and raise that temperature there. Almost. So now the fan's running, and now we'll go ahead and cool this sensor off. You'll watch the temperature drop, and when it goes below 26 degrees Celsius or 78 degrees Fahrenheit, the fan will cut off. And there we have it. So that's the idea to help keep the electronics cool for the off-grid solar power project out at the retreat location. The only thing I'm waiting for are some circuit card standoff posts so I can mount this in the box professionally so we don't get anything shorting out on the back side. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's been a while, but I've been on the road for two weeks. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Collins Prepper starting yet again another project. Hopefully going to be able to wrap up the off-grid solar power project this weekend. Thanks for watching, guys.